Sattvanu Dinam Dharma Sattvanu Purusham Samadaya Kalina Purinarada Nakhati Ayu Param Smriti Today we shall discuss about the uh, prominent symptom of this age. This book, Srimad Bhagavatam, was written, uh, not written practically, it was recorded. All Vedic literature, they are recorded from uh, hearing or tradition of five thousand years before uh, the statements of authorities, uh, people could uh, keep in mind without any book record. At that time the memory was so sharp that one could keep in his memory simply by one hearing from the spiritual master. There was no need of a written book to consult. And so five thousand years ago, this book was recorded by that day because he could understand that in future people will be born of so lower grade that it would be not possible to keep in memory without book record. So formerly uh, this uh, books were written in hand and palm leaves and because there was no press or type. So if you want, wanted a book, you had to copy from others' book. That was the system. So the point is that five thousand years ago the things which were written for this age, how they are coming to be true in our experience. That is the point. How they could see past, present and future so nicely. The sages were known as trikalabhya. Three means three. There is almost similarity. Three and three. Three is Sanskrit and three is English or Latin. But there is similarity. Three kalam, three means three, and kalam means time. Time is experienced by three ways, past, present, and future. <coughs> time limitation, past, present, and whenever you speak of time, it is past, present, or future. So the sages in those days, where trikāla. Trikāla means uh, they could understand, they could know what was in the past, what was, what is, uh, there shall be in the future, and what is at present. Just like in the Bhagavad-gītā, the Krishna says, My dear Rājūn, uh, you, uh, me, I, and all these kings and soldiers who have assembled in this battlefield, they were all individuals. And we are still individuals, and in this past, in the future, we shall all remain individuals. The past, present, and future. He explained. Another place Krishna says, Vedam Samititam. Uh, Atitani, Atitani means past. 
Vartamana Ninja and present. So uh, that is yogic power. One can know past, present, and future. <coughs> so here Sukhdev Goswami is speaking about this Kalivu. The Kalivu means the fourth age. Oh. There are uh, four different kinds of ages. Sattvaju, Tritaju, Dhaparju, and Kalivu. Just like there are six seasons or four seasons in a year, similarly in one day of Brahma there are one uh, hundred cycles of four yugas. Four yugas means uh, forty-three. Uh, thousand, uh, forty-three hundred thousands of years. It is very long. That is the duration of four yugas. Similarly, one thousand yugas passes, then one day of Brahma finishes, twelve hours. Very big calculation. Anyway, the, there are four yugas, the Sattva yuga, Dahul yuga, Trita yuga, and Kali yuga. So in the previous chapter, some description of these yugas have been uh, described. Now, here in this chapter, this is second chapter of twelfth canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, Sukhde Goswami is describing Tatascha Anudinam Dharma Dharma Satya Socham Chamadaya Kalena Bhulina Rajan Nakhati Ayud Balam Smriti. My dear King, the Sukhde Goswami was speaking to Maharaj Parikhi, who was emperor of this planet, Maharaj Parikhi, and he was cursed by a Brahmin that he, he should die within seven days. So he was utilizing the seven days by hearing some other path. <coughs> so, he is explaining, my dear king, that as the days of Kaliju will make progress. Uh, make progress means we have passed only five thousand years of this Kaliju. The total duration of Kaliju is four hundred thirty-two thousands of years. Out of that, we have passed only five thousand of years. I think in the world history uh, there is no, nobody can place records of five thousand. At most the historians can present a history of three thousand years. That's all. So the Kaliju has begun prehistoric age. Uh, and before that, what was there in the history, nobody can say, but in the Vedic literature everything is there. You believe or not believe, that is different. Now here, uh, Sukhdev Goswami says, tatascha anudinam, anudinam one as the days will pass. Then what will be the symptoms? Na, nakhati. Nakhati means uh, gradually diminish, will diminish. Uh, what will diminish? Na dharma, religiosity, satyam, truthfulness, saucham, cleanliness, chama, forgiveness, daya, mercifulness, ayu, duration of life, balam, strength and smriti, memory. This, the, these eight items, 
just try to know. First thing is religious. As the age of Kali will make progress, people will become more and more irreligious. And they will become more and more liars. They will forget to speak what is true. So much cleanliness that will also diminish. Cleanliness is required. But jhabhantaraṁ suchi, if one is to advance, he has to uh, clean himself. Uh, according to Vedic civilization, one has to take bath thrice days. And it, actually in India, uh, uh, in, in your country I was also taking twice bath uh, till I was attacked uh, last year. So I thought that in this country twice taking bath is not possible, so I am taking once now. But in India uh, there are many uh, gentlemen, high-class gentlemen, they take bath thrice morning and before lunch and in the evening especially the Brahmins. So cleanliness is next to godliness. <clears throat> to take bath, to evacuate daily, to wash the teeth, uh, wash clothing, the cleanliness process. But as the days of this college will make progress, this system of hygienic cleanliness Cleanliness both in, inside and outside. Outside by taking bath, inside by becoming Krishna conscious. Uh, two kinds of cleanliness. Simply if we uh, take bath with soap outside and inside all rubbish things, and that is not cleanliness. Cleanliness means Vajjhāmantaram, by your means outside without abhantaram means inside. Uh, unless you are clean, unless you are pure, how we can make advance to approach the Supreme? Uh, the Supreme is described as the purest. Uh, in the Bhagavad Gita, or John says, Param Brahma, Param Dhamma, Pavitram, Paramam Bhava. My dear Krishna, you are the Supreme Lord, Brahman, and Pavitram Paramam, you are supreme, pure. Uh, there is no impurity. Impurity means material contact, and purity means spiritual life. So this cleanliness inside and outside, that will also decrease. Just no. What's decreasing? You say religiosity. People will become irreligious. And they will forget what is telling truth. Uh, they will be accustomed to speak lies. Uh, and uh, Solcha, no cleanliness. And chama. Chama means forgive. Suppose I have done some wrong. Wrong. Oh. But there is no forgiveness. Chama rupang tapasina. People is advised, especially those who are following parents and austerity, yogic principle, or devotion and life, they should learn to excuse. In our dealings, there are so many faulty dealings between ourselves. So if we take everything very seriously, then it is 
very difficult to lead. So, chama, but that chama, chama means forgive, uh, forgiveness. We reduce. Nobody will forgive. Uh, retaliation, vengeance, that will increase. The so four items religiosity, uh, truthfulness, uh, cleanliness, and uh, uh, forgiveness. For then daya. Daya means mercy. Uh, what is daya? Who is, uh, uh, I mean to say, less strong, just like animals. Birds, beast, uh, you should be very merciful, just like children. Uh, uh, you should be very merciful to children. According to Vedic injunction, children, women, Brahmin, old men, and uh, cow. How many? Children, women, Brahmin, uh, cow, and what else? Eh? Old man. Old man. Yes. These five items, according to Manushamnita or Hindu law, they are no offense. They are no offense. They cannot be criminally prosecuted or excused. If a Brahmin has committed some fault, or a woman has committed some fault, or a child has committed some fault, or a cow has transgressed the law, or there is no punishment for this. Daya, they should be shown always much. They require protection, especially these five items have been specially in Jain that they should be given protection. Uh, that is uh, required in human civilization. Cow protection is very important. Woman's protection is very important. Brahmin's protection is very important. Children's protection is very important. Of course, nowadays there is protection for children, of course, from this day. But uh, that is also artificial. There is killing process also. So many children in the womb are killed. But uh, according to Vedic civilization, they are greatest offense. So daya. Daya means you should show your mercifulness those who are weak. Uh, so this will reduce daya. And uh, are you duration of life? Duration of life. In the Sattva Yuga, the duration of life was one hundred thousands of years. A man used to live for one hundred thousands of years. Then in the Trita Yuga, it reduced ten times. They used to live for ten thousand years. Then in Dhapur Yuga, it reduced again ten times. They used to live for one thousand years. And now in the Kali Yuga, the duration of life is prescribed as one hundred years. But you see that it is reducing. Everyone may note it. For us, your grandfather lived for hundred years. Your father lived for eighty years, and nowadays oh, sixty or seventy years. Gradually it will so reduce, we shall come to that statement, that if a man lives from twenty to thirty years, he will be considered a very grand old man. If he lives for twenty to thirty years, he will be considered, oh, you are you have got very good life. That will come gradually. Uh, <coughs> this is the progressive age. 
progressive age for material civilization. We are proud of making advancement of our civilization, but these nice things have been reduced. That means you are advancing means reducing the nice things. This is advanced. Ayu and smriti. Smriti means memory. So these eight items will reduce gradually. Uh, you can uh, keep it noted and you will see how they are being reduced and uh, we have already experienced uh, smriti. Then, uh, next description is vittameva kalouni na janvacara gunodaya dharma naya avasthaya karanam balameva hi. Another symptom is how a man is respected. Uh, so he says, Sukhdev Goswami says, Vittam eva kalounina. Vittam means money. If you have got money, somewhere or other, whatever you may be, ah, you are very respectful. Ah. Janmachara gunoda. Formerly, a man was respectable by his birth. Ah in a respectable family, and by his behavior. Just like a Brahmin. A Brahmin was respected because his behavior was so nice. He was truthful, he was clean, he was man of knowledge, he was faithful in the scriptures, and so many qualities. Therefore, you are just. Uh, so here it is said that uh, janama, birth in a good family or high family, or good behavior, uh, janmachara, janmachara and guna, quality. Uh, suppose a man is a great philosopher, uh, a great uh, learned uh, scholar, that is a very good qualification. Uh, so these things will not be considered. That if a man is very learned scholar or coming of a very respectable family and has got all good qualities, that will be neglected. Another man, if he has all the bad qualities but he has got money, he is respected. He will be respected. This is the uh, symptom of this age. And dharmanaya bhavasthayam karanam palamevahi. Dharma, dharma means support. He has acted something irreligious. In every religion and every scripture, there are many things you do it and do not do it. So that is called uh, following the religious principle. In every religion, either Hindu or Christian or Mahavadyan, there are some rules and regulations. Just like in Mahavadyan religion, uh, drinking is the greatest sin. Uh, and uh, in Hindu religion, uh, place eating, especially cow meat, uh, is the greatest sin. So these are religious principles. So, dharma nayam avasthaya. So there are some rules and regulations according to different types of religion. So how they will be settled? Nakaranam balamevali. By might. If one has might is right, that might is right. There is no reason why you are uh, doing against religious principles, if I ask, uh, 
if you are powerful, stronger than me, you have to say, yes, I can do that. What is that? What to you? What is that to you? The balam. If anyone is powerful in power, or he can act uh, against the rules and regulations of uh, religious or scriptural things and things, nobody can protest. Dharmanaya Vavasthāṁ kāraṇa mupadam. Dāmpatte abhi ruchi etu nāyiva māyaiva vyavārika. Dāmpatte. Dāmpatte means making husband and wife relations. Abhi ruchi. Abhi ruchi means liking. A boy likes another girl. And, and the girl likes another boy. That's finished. Uh, let us let them become husband and wife. Formally it was not this. Uh, formally, according to Vedic civilization, there was no liking of the boy or the girl. The parents of the, pa- uh, uh, the parents of the boy and the girl, they would see whether this combination will be happy. They will bring horoscope and calculate astronomically ah, what is the symptoms of this boy, what is the symptoms of this girl, whether they will be peaceful in married life. They calculate it and uh, the parents will see and what kind of family the girl is born and what kind of uh, boy the family is born, so many things. Uh, if they do not agree, the parents of the girl and the father, uh, boy, uh, then there is no marriage. Still, in India, at, the la- at least uh, uh, I was also married, and some of my children, uh, they are also married. But this system in India is still called the parents, they select the suitable boy and the suitable girl. The primary aim is that they may live very peacefully and there may not be an unnecessary disturbance in their family life. That was the end. But in the Kalidu it is said, Dampate, a selection of husband and wife will depend on agreement. That's all. I like you, you like you. That's all. Finish. Dampate aviruchi etu aviruchi. Uh, because the boy likes the girl, and uh, suppose the parents do not like, uh, uh, that will be cancelled. Uh, uh, the girl likes, uh, that's it, that's wrong. The dampate, it is not only in your country, in every country, because the age is like that. Dampate aviruchi etu and maya ka vyavahari ke. Maya means false dealing. Vyavahari. Even in ordinary dealing, there will be uh, cheating and uh, fault cheating. Even in ordinary dealing. Uh, even you go to purchase something from a store, oh, there is fault cheating. Dhampatte. Sritte pumste cha hi roti. And a sritte, a husband and wife, will agree so long they are sexually strong. That's all. Sritte bhumstecha hi